Talking with them takes you deep into the history of Panathinaikos and allows you to appreciate the last decade in Euroleague. Mike Batiste has had a crucial role for the Greens throughout the season. But his contribution became pivotal during the playoff series against Regal FC Barcelona, helping the team to book a place in the final four. Eight years is now spent in Athens, and the memory that springs first to mind is... Wow, uh, so many of them. I, I would say winning the, the first uh, EuroLeague trophy. Uh, it was in Athens, and uh, we really played good from the start of the season until the end of the season. And um, it was very difficult to do that as well, to play at a high level uh, throughout the season. But for some, you know, good luck, you know, we, we maintained it, and... We end up uh, winning uh, the yearly trophy uh, right in our gym, like in our own backyard. So uh, that, that was really special because the, the year before in 2006, uh, we lost to, to Tao, uh, like in the last seconds. And we really had a chance to go to the Final Four in Prague, but uh, it was cut short, you know, from, from Perjoni's, uh, you know, good shot. And this is the game of basketball. So I think from, from that time when we lost, we really... Uh, you know, putting our mind for, for the summer to really work hard to get ourselves back to that position to try to overcome uh, uh, the feeling of losing to, to try to go to the Final Four and, and win. Playing with fans and Icos is incomparable. Imagine becoming a player under the watchful eye of Obradovic for just one day. I always tell them to just to come in and, and work hard, you know, and always... Uh, Follow what the, what the older guys are doing, especially guys like me, Dima Didis, uh, Chasa Reese, uh, guys who's been in the system for a very long time. I've always uh, tried to be uh, the bridge point from Obradovic and the players because, you know, coaches is very intense. And if you're not given 110% in practice in a game, he's going to let you know. I mean, it's not personal. But uh, he always wants you to play to, to the best of your ability. And if he has to get in your face and, and tell you some things that you might not like, uh, he will do it. But at the end of the day, you know, when we're in the locker room, I always try to, you know, make sure that, you know, guys are not taking it personal. You know, uh, Coach is, is a great person, number one, off the court. But on the court, he's, uh, he's like, you know, he wants to be a player, but he can't. And, uh, you know, he always wants to make sure that you enjoy every moment of this, this game of basketball uh, that, we, that we're playing because, you know, it doesn't last forever. And, you know, when you reunite with your friends and, and want to talk about memories, you always want to have, you know, good stories. So I always try to tell them to come in and, and, and work hard and always listen and, and try to pay attention. Mike's next stop, Barcelona, aiming for the third crown.